that in my bedroom. And for formality's sake, this is Fix It With Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. And I am doing this impromptu unboxing of this orchid that I ordered from Amazon. Um, hiding away from my baby girl, who you can hear <laughs> playing with her daddy in the background. I have a bit of a headache right now, so I'm trying to... Um, let my medicine kick in before I go back out to the family room. But, let's see. This orchid came from Amazon. I ordered a different one that I, I think I posted the review on Amazon, but I haven't um, done a video on here, so I'll have to like stitch it together. Um, again, doing it in my bedroom. Is that the smartest thing? No. Uh, do we want to be infested with pests if something bad is in this orchid? We don't. But hey, my head hurts. I'm about to lay down. And I thought, maybe opening this orchid would cheer me up. And here we are. Um, this company apparently puts like this little hair net kind of cover on it. Which seemed to work well, at least to protect the other one. But I did notice that, I mean, you, you have an orchid that's being shipped. So... In my mind, you can't be too persnickety or particular about some of the details. Like some of the flowers kind of get a little bent up and um, flop back on one another. But I think that's part of what you take on sometimes if you're going to order it online. Um, I think they look pretty. I was interested in this white one and this one was supposed to be a double stalk orchid. The one that I ordered... Previously, that was purple. I think it was just a single stark orchid, but it was $10. I don't like the pot that came with this one as much as the pot that came with my other um, flower. The other pot was gold, but I think this one probably holds up better to shipping because the other one was gold, but it got really chipped up and beat up while it was being shipped. Let me pause this so that I can take off this plastic. Again, I don't like this solid plastic cover because I don't think it lets air get to the roots. And with your orchid roots, it's important for them to get aeration and um, be able to draw oxygen from the air. So because of this being like this, it's oftentimes prone to building up too much moisture. And then your roots are susceptible to root rot and mold. And we can already see some algae right here. So I'm going to slide this off and see how the actual roots look and if they're in whatever kind of condition. So this orchid has a little bit of algae, a little bit of like a, yeah, just algae it seems like. The roots were mostly happy, still firm. See some yellowing here and that just means that the roots, because they're in this solid pot or this tin pot, hadn't been able to photosynthesize. They weren't exposed to the sunlight, but we like to see green roots on our orchids. I do know that much. Ugh. I think I'm going to end up maybe trying to do this one in um, maybe a partial water culture or semi-water culture. We'll see. But um, I think I'm going to, well, the other one has a lot of mold in it. So one of these mini orchids that I have, I'm going to try to convert to a water culture. I love these leaves. These leaves look much happier and a little healthier than the other orchid. And also, this orchid has some air roots that are living their best life. The other orchid that I got did not. So I'm happy with it. I'm happy to have a white one. I think I'm going to end up putting this in my guest room upstairs. That's like my little plant room, sitting room. Um, just hoping that's a south-facing room, that it's not too bright for that one. So I'm going to try to find a location that would be more bright in direct light. And hopefully she responds well. But... That's this one. I gotta get this mess off the bed. I do have another orchid that I'll be opening that's a standard full size orchid. So I uh, hope I didn't just hurt that ear root. I'll probably do another video just to keep it from being too long. And so I can post this one as a review. But that's this one that we got. Really pretty flowers. Really pretty. Almost pure white. I feel like in here the light is a little off. Oh, that's a really good picture of it. But nice always to get an orchid that still has some closed buds. These buds don't look like they were damaged at all in shipment. Um, there's nothing that's already blasted. No shriveled up buds. So 
it's impressive especially because this might have taken like two days shipping on Amazon so still came good it was well packed it had um, a heat pack as well as the I can't remember the e-word but whatever it's supposed to be the preservative to help plants while they're being shipped was in there as well along with this plant steak and an ID tag it's not a um, named ID tag but it does at least let you know that this is a Philanopsis orchid and what that name means so if you were wondering how this would look this is what you have the opportunity of receiving it's always kind of a game of chance when you're ordering plants online but this worked out pretty well for me so I was pleased <music>